This video is all about Xenothreat version 2. We're looking at the pros, the cons, and I'd love to hear your feedback. So please comment below how you found the event. Let's get straight into the pros of the event. The first big improvement of V2 versus V1 of the Xenothreat, in my opinion, is that CRG just got the missions to trigger after each other. So you did the cargo section, and then once that was complete, the big combat section versus the two Idrises from Xenothreat, that just triggered. It triggered in theory. In, in reality, there was lots of bugs, but we'll come to that in the cons section. But compared to V1, where you'd have a couple of days of the cargo section, and then once CRG had decided that was complete, then everybody moved on to just the big fight section. It was just much better. It felt like a, a full playthrough of a mission rather than you just did a section and then bizarrely just waited. I think it's a much better way to do the event. And they obviously had listened to some feedback and, and taken that on board. And, and yes, that was a massive pro. Pro number two, the FPS combat and the cargo loading sections of this mission work pretty well. The SCF, FPS, the AI sometimes just pops out of nowhere and shoots you, but I had a couple of goes at clearing a Star Fire wreck on my own, and that's genuinely tense. Like, there was one point, one point where they actually shot me, which isn't what you can normally say for the AI for Star Citizen. On the whole, that, that can be fun. And then the cargo section, I just think it's, it's one of the best parts of Star Citizen that they've, they've come up with so far. Getting people to collaborate, even if they're not in parties together, even if they're not uh, friends or speaking to each other, there generally seems to be a sense where people will help each other out with loading up the cargo. They'll invite people to parties. I got invited to a few parties, and you work as a team. And yeah, that that is obviously one of the dreams of Star Citizen: big multiplayer gameplay. And obviously, yes, maybe not everybody had thought that cargo would be loading cargo would be what they thought they were excited about Star Citizen, but it genuinely is good gameplay in my opinion. It works well and you do have to work with the team. The next pro is, it's not completely a pro, but on the whole it is. Adding rewards to this event is a, is a good step in the right direction. We know that CIG is going to do this. Yes, the rewards themselves are not particularly interesting, just a bit of a very boring armor really, but this is good. Having rewards for this sort of mission, having it all tied in the reputation system is a good thing. And then also obviously the other reward of doing Xenon Threat is that you make tons of money. I think I made maybe 700,000 at AUEC. Let's get into the cons. There's only really one con, I think, to this version of Xenothreat, but it's a big one. It's, it's just that the, the general performance, server performance probably is the best way to put it, of the event and just the bugginess, I, I feel it actually went backwards compared to V1. I found that V1, when we played this last time, it was pretty straightforward. And, and probably that's to do with the fact that they just had one part of the mission and it wasn't all chained up together. They were just focusing on one bit and then they got rid of that. And then the next few days they focused on the next bit. That's probably why. But I found that there were all sorts of issues going on with this version of Zoom Threat. We had issues in terms of just, I couldn't get through the whole thing. I think I tried 15 times on 15 different servers over a few days, over a number of days. I managed to get myself all the way up to the highest reputation so I played it a fair bit, but of all those times, I had a full playthrough from the start of the cargo phase all the way through to defeating Xenothreat in the big battle. I had one full playthrough. And it wasn't the same things every time. Sometimes I had a couple of 30Ks, and that's just that just comes with the technology with the with the Star Citizen at the moment. I'm not too fussed about that. At the start of the event, the reputation system just seemed to completely break, and so therefore nobody could actually take the mission. There was some speculation whether that was just the reputation server had just crashed or something. But that the first night I tried to play, I couldn't play at all. And then we had issues around just wrecks not spawning. There was then a, a bigger issue further in where they actually ended up patching it, where just the, the last phase just wasn't triggering. And I had that a few times. Sometimes there was there's obviously issues around audio playing. That's not that big a deal. Xenothreat threat fighter ships would, would spawn in, and they would just sit there for a second whilst they kind of got spooled up or the server got spooled up and they were ready to go but if there was a few decent pilots kind of trying to clear them around the wrecks what would happen is those pilots would just zoom straight to those just static uh, ships and they'd blow them up before they even started moving so that sort of stuff is maybe to be expected but it just meant actually I think the ship combat in general on the event is a bit lacklustre it, it doesn't feel the big battle at the end I don't think I suppose is a second combat the big battle at the end I think once you've done it a few times, and there's a visual spectacle to it. it, it looks pretty spectacular from a visual side, but actually, yeah, the the AI and the server performance isn't 
really there to actually make it fun, I don't think, in my opinion. I People might disagree with that. Let me know if you do. But yes, on the whole, I just think performance had gone backwards compared to V1. I, I, I was surprised because it spent a long time in Evocati, it spent a long time in the PTU. It felt like CRG were trying to get this into a really polished is the wrong word, we were talking about Alpha still, but into a decent state so that people would come in over the free fly. I think it was available right at the start of the free fly. They'd come in and they'd have this experience and they would love it and they would pour money into the game. But actually, in reality, the performance wasn't quite there. So to sum that all up, yes, there's some cons. It didn't really perform brilliantly on the whole bugs and all sorts of things. But there, some of the elements of this are really good. The cargo, the community coming together, I think it's brilliant. And yes, the ship combat is a bit lacklustre, but that's probably just gonna take a while to get sorted out as they rebalance and as they sort the servers out eventually. Again, I'd really love to hear your feedback on this. Did it before? I might have been an anomaly. I might have had the worst luck in the world, and it might have worked really well for for other people. The servers might not have been a bit of an issue, but I'd love to hear your experience and what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy, and just just general feedback. I think the more feedback we can give CRG about this, the better, because this actually is a good example. They did listen to some of the feedback from V1, and they have implemented it into V2. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you like this kind of look at Star Citizen, just in general, all the content on this channel is about Star Citizen, and normally it's got a bit more of a technical edge, not really this one. But if you like that sort of thing, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.